all right then my friends if you are here finally just know we get into the end of this video and you are just a stone throw away from getting your first YouTube download for free right yeah but if you are here by any means by you and you've know what the previous videos please do well go watch the previous videos so that you can understand what we're doing here and you can make your set up properly right so now let's continue so where we are currently if you remember in our previous video we downloaded the ffp ffm peg package right now we have to extract it and also put it in our m part so that we can access it globally that is what i'm going to teach today i'm going to show you today right so i downloaded mine in the document directory so this is a zip file the zip folder i downloaded i extracted it in the same directory which is the document directory i'm very sure that for you your directory will be downloaded because mine was in downloads but i moved it to document so that i show you how it is done because i already talked about me setting up mine already so to show you for tutorial purposes that's why i'm doing mine in documents but it's okay you can extract yours in the downloads directory and that is perfectly fine right so there is the file i extracted right sorry this is the extraction i made so open it and open it now if you open it you will see a bin folder open the bin folder and if you see these three files here then whoo you are there you got a right package right so just come here to the top right like i'm doing here highlight all the directories highlight all of them right and copy right now if yours is in downloads do same if you decide to put it in document to like i have made do same too but copy all these and now what we are going to do next is we are going to add the path to our m good so we are adding it to our m variables right now if you're on windows i am using windows for this tutorial if you're on windows linux um mac os just go to your env path right so by just entering env you should see something here we you should see your control panel come up with edit the system environment variables so just tap on it and after tapping on it there's going to be a dialogue right some like what you are seeing on my screen here and you see there are user variables for leno for my device right and there are system variables not the system variables go to the user variables and upon going to the user variables tap on path you will see a path directory here tap on path after tapping on path hit on edit now after tapping on edit hit on new right and paste what we copied the directory we copied paste the directory we copied here so we can reference it later to see if it works or not so paste what we've copied here so in my case i've already made that so i'm just going to delete it again right because i've already added my if you can see here on this line i've already added it so i'm going to delete this one i pasted but for you there's going to be a fresh one so just paste and after pasting just click on ok click on ok again and click on ok again right so now we've set up our env part for the ff mpeg now we have to configure whether our e ytdlp is working properly and don't forget please don't forget that we initially installed it in the previous video and we place it in the c drive right we place it in the c drive so here we are going to open a command prompt right 
you can literally just type cmd and it will bring up your command prompt so we go to cd and we uh, backslash right i'm using windows linux or mac os there will be there might be a way of doing it right so cd backslash me i'm going to my root directory which is my c drive right so i'm now in my c drive and if you remember i named my youtube downloader right so i'm going to do cd again cd youtube youtube downloader right now i'm in the youtube downloader part right now let's configure if the yt dlp that we downloaded let's let's check if the yt dlp that we downloaded is properly configured right so what we are going to do is we are going to run this command i'm going to copy this this from here and i'm going to paste it so i'm going to copy this yeah and i'll come and paste it in the c m d right so now there is nothing okay so what we are checking is we are checking the version and if your version is locked that means why uh, yt dlp is configured if it is not there may be it's not properly configured so please if it's not go back to the video and check how we did it yes so now before that i don't want to confuse you so i want to teach you something very nice okay so let's go back to our c drive here this is my c drive now let's come back to our c drive if you can see this is my youtube downloader right and this is the yt dlp package that we installed right so like i said initially please if you didn't watch this part of the video go and watch it before you get to this aspect so now let's configure if our version is going to lock here if it's if it's locked here that means we are configuring yt dlp properly right so now it's just a dot then we are targeting the yt dlp package so dot slash yt dlp dot exe you have to add the extension on linux and mac os to just like I showed how to install from the website you do the same and that's that version so now let's print here let's enter here and you can see something locked here something locked here the version of my YTDLP package locked here right good that means YTDLP is configured properly now let's move on to the next video and download our first ever youtube video join me and let's join join me and let's see what happens in the next video